And that's right, we are back in the studios of One Play Africa. This is the Fan Zone, the only show where you go get for anywhere that is focused on you, the fan. This is the Fan Zone with myself, Joseph A.B. I'm in a building with Tilia Kriyanipa and NYB from Muse Africa. What's good, my people? Mm. We are fine. We day inside. Mm. How are you? I'm good. As you can see, I'm <laughs> feeling funky fly. <laughs> I like your color combination. Eh. The pink and the yellow and the white. Okay. Your stylist is good, pal. It's good. Yeah. Man, I styled myself. You see, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. My boys. Yeah. What be the action? Oh, normal. Say today I'm official. Yeah. Like, I did, I did feel the whole official swag, I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I go take my CV and do like some time back to like... I did, I did, <laughs> I did, I did like communicator. So I come in official apparel. You see that? I see. Ah, I see. Yeah, one would be. Yeah. Anyway, so the, the show is dedicated to you, the fans out there. Um, I really want to put this message out. I know say there are a lot of people out there, I mean, going through a lot of hard times. But trust me, man. Whatever it is that you're going through, experiencing, it'll be time, all right? Everything will be all right. So cool down, get some water and sip, and have some fun with us right here on the Fan Zone on One Play Africa. Going straight to our first message. Um, so there's this one from uh, Sam Okujetua Blakwa, which says, let's stop public officials from seeking medical care abroad. Now, we have a reply from a fan. Uh, who happens to be Stanley Ati uh, at Kojo underscore Sami. And he says, it will be a good step and it will make them see and know what the ordinary person goes through in our health facilities in Ghana. But the probability to feel what we feel, I doubt, we still will have the problem of they breaking protocols at the expense of the ordinary Ghanaian. Now, how do you feel about this? Well, I think if we could implement that, it would be very, very, first of all, it would be a good move for Ghana. Then, now, if you would know that your hope, you have to put your hope in the medical systems in Ghana, then it means that you will want it fixed. Because you wouldn't want your granddaughter or grandson as the president of Ghana to be sick and then you are not sure that the health care that you say you are building for the nation cannot take care of your own grandchild then the next time you get a chance you will be forced to fix it right so that at least it's up to the standard you go and pay for out there but the question is if they do that what's the guarantee that um i mean some people will still get the same level of treatment because it's still human being interaction over there there are some people they go to the same hospital with big people but omukwa sika for standard no treatment is different you see a poor person being treated in a hospital a rich person just comes there he doesn't even have to be a politician mm. he just has to be rich <laughs> or he just has to be somebody or call but mm -hmm. you know who am i in <laughs> <laughs> Do you, know, on some I, do you know who I am? My father is a dead girl of you know, first title now. Oh, boss, also, this is the place where you take your own. You get it. I get the, you. It means that the survival is not whether they go out or they stay in, it is in it. Mm. We will respect big men. Mm -hmm. Big manism syndrome no, is in us. So, whether they stay here, I mean, COVID has proven that we can all depend on our healthcare system, whether or not. Because a boy will be a two crown call, be a share, it's not in my son or share no more. But the point is, that feeling, the, the thing the fan was saying that they will feel how, they will feel how we feel. Even when the system is fixed, there will still be a VIP ward. Ah, they still, they even is. Well, I was sick, I went to St. Dominic Hospital at Akutia. They have places for big people. Uh -huh. Because I was a student, I was lucky. I went there on a Sunday. I got that space. When you go there and you go to the main ward for the poor man town, it's not the same. Mm. It's not the same at all. And the alacrity at which they treat somebody are uh, always a car and I said, oh, power no. And then they say, the initial will be a uh, on your mind or be, uh, it's not the same at all. So this whole thing, yes, it will be nice if, I mean, there will be an improvement in our healthcare system if they are forced to take their health from here or to check their health from here. But the treatment level, it will never be the same. You can't give the president the same room as a commoner like me. No, it's, not, it's not possible, bro. 
I'll come back to you. Oh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and what I mean? Yo, Are you on the same view? Did you hear the bra? Which bra? I said bra. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who is me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so personally, I feel all politicians, except those who are born in Amanone, that's abroad, right. know how our health systems is. Because as children growing up, they've gone through the system. Even as at now, they have constituents and family members who still regularly go through the system. Uh, for us to ban public officials from getting healthcare outside the country, it's not possible. Even Okujeto even knows it's not possible. You get it? Because you are infringing someone's right to secure well, if the person can pay, why not? The question is stopping the avenues for public officials to steal money and use it to go for health treatment abroad. Because if public officials are paid what they are due without any leakages. Mm -hmm. If you now you look at America price and you look at Ghana price, you decide where you go to. <laughs> you get it. Mm -hmm. And like Tilly said, when COVID came, we were left for us to treat ourselves. There weren't any big person going outside. I said maybe they were going outside secretly, like the way Chatwale go do the Beyonce shoot. Mm. Then we go fit up say it'd be secret. But we were all under the same healthcare. And it also proved that in as much as we don't have the facilities we have the people because i don't think there was any major outcry during the period of lockdown the people not traveling our health facilities like we're up to the task a new hospital was built but i feel personally they need to build more hospitals and for someone in parliament who has authority to be talking about banning public officials rather than advocating for more hospitals to be built it, it shows where the problem is. You get it. Mm -hmm. Because you are in a position to help build the hospitals. Because when they bring the budget, me, I cannot go and question the budget. I'm not in parliament. Mm -hmm. But you've been voted into power to question the budget. As the president said, he will build 88 hospitals. I can talk small, but you as a parliamentarian in parliament, when the finance minister came with the budget, it is your task to ask, where is the budget for the hospital? then we can have a consensus, you get it. But to say you are going to stop public officials from, because there are some illness, we are, you can't go in Ghana. You need to travel to another part of the world to get it done. So that one too, how, if the person is sick of that, how, how will you do it, you get it. But yes, but it's a laudable idea. I think it's not just about the financial aspect. It gives a prominence to our medical field. If the president says he's going for checkup and he's not going for checkup in the US, he's going for checkup maybe at Kolebu 37 Ridge the Hospital, like it gives confidence in our health system, it makes people right. understand that. Oh, even if the president is going to Kolebu in a local hospital, ah, then he means hey, one hospital there in the pub, mm. you get it. So, mm -hmm. it's, so that's why I also said a lot about it. But I also feel people in position should stop making excuses, they should make things happen because the healthcare system, the Ghana, we are here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I don't know if you would share the same view with yeah, me. You want to say I, something? I think, I think he, the guy was um, Dato Ablapa was using emotional manipulation to okay. get he being part of the lawmakers know that eighty-eight hospital whatever or our healthcare is not going to improve anytime soon. Mm. So then he's using emotional manipulation to get the job done. Maybe he feels that he's one out of a lot of people that are there. So if he feels that, yay, for hospitals should be built and the rest are saying me, then why don't we use a situation where you have no other option but to fix it, then you have to fix it then. Because the president, you said um, if the president should visit a Kolebu hospital, I mean, it gives us confidence. Right. When the COVID vaccine came, the president and the wife and the family have to come and build on TV, emotional. So that we know that, oh, okay, president's name with their meeting me up here. That should be that form of assurance they give to our healthcare. But if you keep going, then it means that you are not ready to even fix your own. So he is saying that if you, you are sick and you think you will die in this hospital, you will fix it, right? If there is whatever machine that you need there to save your life, you will fix it. So I think, oh no, this thing, it's even a warning to us that this is our healthcare issue. It will go fix now. <laughs> because if 
they feel the need to go out all the time and they don't see the need to fix it and he has to use emotional manipulation like this that don't let them go out then it means that in the parliamentary space now those who can make their laws for the whatever to be fixed they are not thinking about it now so hmm. I, so okay you want you want you want to talk yeah, about it joseph you know, think about this the people you want them to make the law to ban the travel and those traveling <laughs> <laughs> you see, so it, 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 it's but not then again, I, I think that I mean um, these these people not go out there for you know treatments and all that. Mm -hmm. They know how the system is there. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, they know exactly what to do in order to get everything right back home. She and Mephi, they don't do it. You get oh. me. And there was small money we like even to me abu abu ano to do do some one or two things. They take fly fly and I'm ni ameka na imfa. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, when, when COVID came, you see the way all the uh, politicians and even the president, COVID nineteen has revealed the debe and debe in our healthcare system. <laughs> They knew they knew the potholes in the uh, healthcare system all the whole time, but because now they can't go out again, mm. they feel like, oh wow, so this is how come people keep crying that they know, but now because they are stuck in it. So if Okuje told me, follow what he say, when they are stuck in it now, they will keep saying that our healthcare system there is a problem. You think they don't know? They know, mm. but because they were stuck now, now they are all saying, wow, the thing was bad like that. So if you are all stuck, you fix it. Okay. They know. So let's fix it. <laughs> Bro. Mm, simple. Let's fix it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important. All right, then. Fix, fix the country. Let's go on to our next story. Um, so Manifest twist, uh, tweeted. He twisted. He tweeted. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 he tweeted that if Ghana was an album, what would the track list look like? There were loads of comments about this particular tweet, but there's one that we found very interesting and it is from Gary Al Smith. Um, so I'll go break down and list what he gave. Mm -hmm. At number one, he has nowhere cool. Number two, no shortcut to heaven. And number three, he has hope remix, uh, Twister featuring uh, Manifest. Um, and number four, he has Maka Maka. And number five, he has Africa Represent remix, Manifest featuring Burner Boy. And number at number six, he has Easy Does It. At number seven, he has Soon Soon Pride uh, featuring a drum roll. At number eight, he has Change Gone Come featuring Wayala. And at number nine, he has Minewa. It's I, I think it's an interesting I mean list altogether. Your 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 take on this? Uh, you, would you wanna um, give your own list? Oh, my list is to come. Maybe people will not be happy, man. Right? <laughs> it's my, it's drop on, my, drop my playlist. On. Mm. No, but Gary just list all manifest songs. Yeah. Uh, just give manifest back to back. Yeah. Uh, manifest has a, a subtle political jab. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> but if I'm to do a random list. Let's do a random list. Yeah. I have uh, inflation. <laughs> by Sarkozy. <laughs> I have masses. Explain, you can't give us lists like that and move. Explain. Uh, but I guy, you don't explain. Come on, we understand. I have, I have masses. <laughs> by Sarkozy. Oh, nowhere cool from definitely manifest. Manifest, right. Will be, will be in there. Then Kakai by Shatawale. Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kakai by Shatawale. Mm -hmm. Then we'll move, to, we'll move to the happy, happy moments. Okay. Happy day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have enjoyment. You have the long you. Oh yes, yes. You see the way you make up. Oh yeah, it is pop. If for if pop, we have some. Mm -hmm. But I can promise. All right. And finally, 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 finally. Oh, no, it will two songs. Okay. Hey, I represent my people. Moko Adam. I get jolly lonely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but sometimes you feel lonely for this country. <laughs> but then the day too. For a jam, mm. yeah, so like Madina today, <laughs> yeah, and reason and reason being, in as much as we keep saying there's hardship in Ghana, people are enjoying. I'm sure you saw on social media the Ferraris and Lamborghinis and stuff, the mm -hmm. Porsche. We see, 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 we
now people are looking for obi pe e do be 10000 on the spot to man or two crop because it's below me you get it they are waiting for you know who do you know who am i do you know who am i do you know who am i okay so yes in as much as you say the economy has taken like a blows it's definitely looking nice especially on social media mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly it's because social media bit me oh yeah because we're near the church area how many times now for that is three or gonna yeah two or two or two and time who's had no charlie yeah tell you that pressure will be my back maybe let's know your mind and i'm here screaming okay first of all i think um colonization or still now we are blood as blacks even though we are colonized long time but still we are still on the slave ship which is why brown paper bag sacred the manifest will be my first because in toko aye ku african in ghana fix the country mental slavery in crophobia imagine still they are still on the ship going mm. and that is what that song talks talks about and i don't know the title of this particular song by manifest but it's no shortcut to heaven okay yeah, that's the title. oh that's the title <laughs> 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 right. that song too is really cool no shortcuts mm. our leaders are always looking for shortcuts only the leaders and the citizens we are always looking for country is on the no Meanwhile, you're doing it for the next five. You say you're coming at ten thousand, but two thousand on it or per instant money. Who's who need grip that old crap? So, <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously, when you look at the enjoyment minister of Ghana, you know some people enjoyment. Mm. So enjoyment is on my list. Okay. And obviously, the youth. You pay pianya, kabwantiya, kochi, ching, disika, befi, sika befi, by kweku dalenting. Should I add the remix? And the remix uh, <laughs> and Mahama Pepper should be on this list. The EP hey. Mahama Pepper. Are you sure? Yeah, Shatawale fans. The, the reason it is here because Shatawale fans are more into it. And then Mahama Pepper, I can't say me free. That song is a good song. So yeah, it should be there. And Walasi, the song, Madam Speaker, speak up. I don't know the title of that song too, but we're talking about how corrupt our leaders are. And that song should be on the list. And of course, if all of this are not happening, then the youth, yeah, but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my EP. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that's the list of songs I have. Simple, uh, simple like that. Yeah. So you, you sure they describe the, 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 I mean, just the nature of the country now. Oh, yeah. Ah, fix the country now, yeah, but sorry. Mm. Yeah, but sorry now, would you have to But I left from, I left from Bangladesh. Please I tell me. From Bangladesh. Tell okay. me. When the politicians come. If you give me the power, ah. I will show you my truth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I can't pass my hand, but you they give me something for oh, the down. Hey, why oh, are you interrupting? Did no, you oh, are they pass some people? Yeah, 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 Show us the money and we'll show you our true mood. Yeah. <laughs> this true mood matter there. No <laughs> <big problem. laughs> anyway, so Gary Al Smith, um and let's know Effa. Effa Effa Effa. Effa man no but I saw no the end number. So yeah, share the idea but uh not just I'm fat. Oh Effa oh, yeah, Effa man. like a different Yeah, Effa man. Okay. And to your man, you're taking no. Oh, you're taking it. Okay. okay. Now, um, Ojafo at Kojo underscore Samuel. Oh, yeah, it's a good idea. But any, I mean, any, any, Enfa. Any, Enfa. A good idea, but Enfa. Any, Juma. Oh, we endorse his statement. Yeah, we endorse okay. it, but it can't happen. It won't, it won't be endorsed in Parliament. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. Hey. You're still here with us on One Play Africa. This is the fan zone of myself, Joseph A.B., NYB from Muse Africa, and Tilly Ekria Nipa in the red dress. And we are bouncing out of the studio right now. Make time to join us next time, all right? And catch some fun. We're out. Peace.
One play, one play, one play. At class to your music.